Okay, hello everyone. Um, <laughs> sorry for the confusion there. Everybody was, uh, <laughs> we got a lot of people in really quick. Um, usually we just give everybody a, you know, a minute or two to stream in before we start. Um, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with your computers. We're, <laughs> we're all good. Um, so thank you again for uh, uh, joining us once again for another uh, edition of our Medical Monks webinar series, the Monk Posium. Uh, we have a very special guest today. Maria Manusi has been in the medical industry for 16 years as a sales rep and product manager. Uh, during her past 12 years with Support X, who are a uh, new partner of ours at Medical Monks, uh, she has worked directly with Ostimates, gaining an intimate understanding of their medical and lifestyle needs, especially when it comes to hernia prevention, which is what we'll be talking about today. Um, now, before we get to the presentation, I just want to let everyone know um, we are going to be having a Q&A session uh, at the end after the presentation. Um, so I'm going to be monitoring the chat over here. Uh, so if anybody has a question during the presentation, you can go ahead and enter it here. I'll make note of it um, and we'll be uh, you know, answering as many of those as we can at the end. So without further ado, uh, Maria, please take it away. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Today, we're going to talk about hernias, and most importantly, how we can prevent a hernia after a stoma operation. So let's get started. Let's start with what is a hernia, to understand what's a hernia. A hernia, it's nothing life-threatening. Let's clear that. Uh, happens when, uh, for some reason, there is a weakness on our abdominal wall, on our abdomen. So an organ or tissue usually is our intestine, protrudes through our abdominal wall and sits in between our muscles and our skin and creates loops. So we can see it bulging out like this. Hernias usually give no symptoms, but maybe you'll get a dragging feeling or maybe a bit of pain, but you'll see a lump there. Sometimes hernias, it's not really uh, often, but happens. Sometimes hernias can uh, be painful a little bit. Uh, and to repair a hernia, the only way is to have a surgery. Now, what causes a hernia? Well, a hernia happens because there is a weakness somewhere on our abdominal wall. Can be because of an in injury or because of an operation or just is a weakness from birth. So are there any risk factors that will cause a hernia? Yes lifting heavy objects without stabilizing our muscles, diarrhea or constipation that will increase the pressure from the inside in this area, coughing or sneezing, believe it or not, is one of the main causes of a hernia, obesity, poor nutrition and smoking. Types of hernias. All right, there are many different types of hernias, um, and we name them depending on where they are. Let's say an umbilical hernia, where the belly button is, epigastric hernia, it's uh, around our upper stomach, uh, inguinal hernia, where on the groin area, an incisional hernia behind an incision after an operation, and the hernia that we are going to talk about today, a parastomal hernia. That hernia will happen behind or around our stomach. And is the most common, common complication after a stomach operation. Now, in the US, there are about a million ostomates 
and every year we have about 100,000 new stoma surgeries. What is, how high is the risk of developing a hernia after a stoma operation? According to clinical studies, during the first year to first 12 months is about 30% and that goes up to 40% after the second year and goes more than 50% on the long term. So the risk goes higher. The hernia can happen anytime, right after the operation or 10 years later. Is it 100% sure that I will get a hernia? No, of course not. But the risk is high and it's there. Well, how the hernia will affect our life. So let's talk about first the, sim first the, about the symptoms. What are the symptoms? We'll, we will see a a lump there pushing out uh, but if we feel severe pain vomiting or uh, bowel move the difficulty with our bowel movements we need to see a doctor or a stoma nurse but a hernia also affects our life in a different ways affects the way we see ourselves our body image our confidence and we see many patients every day, and if they have a hernia, they, all of them will say the same thing. I don't like going out anymore. This thing is embarrassing. Everybody can see it. And it grows bigger and bigger if we're not careful. So can we do anything to prevent hernias? Well, yes, now that we know what causes a hernia, that's the pressure that comes from the inside, we know what to do to prevent a hernia. So one of the things that we will definitely say to every person with a stoma is when you feel like coughing or sneezing, always support with your hands, your abdomen because the pressure is high and comes from the inside. So you can hold it really tight and try to cough. You'll feel the pressure pushing out. Definitely healthy diet is really important and healthy weight. Hernia support garments. They are important because they will support our muscles. They will support our abdominal wall and will minimize the risk of a hernia. And really, really, really important is to start being active. After a big operation like this, that is also life-changing, we need to go back to our lives. We don't just want to be, to survive, but we want to live. So exercise is crucial. Now, the type of exercise is different for everybody because everybody is different. And also there are maybe underlying conditions. Other people will have just the stoma. Other people will go under chemo or they will have um, different lifestyle, different habits. So, but there is something suitable for everyone. And the target is to go back to your normal activities. But not just like that. Oh, I had the operation. I feel fine now. I can start climbing mountains again. We have to start slowly and build up. Usually you'll get advice from your stomachs, eight to 12 weeks post-op to start being more active and exercise to strengthen your core muscles. So, Although maybe you'll be, you, you will be doing crazy exercise before the operation, yes, you have to take it easy and then build up and, yeah, and eventually you'll go back to your normal activities. What about hernia support garments? Do we need them? 
The answer is yes. Mainly to support our muscles and as an extra layer of support when we're exercising, working, especially if we're doing something very active, manual work, or if there is a hernia already, we need to stop it from growing bigger. But also a support garment will boost our confidence. It will flatten the area, it will cover the stomach bag, it will make, if there is a hernia there, will make it less visible. So yes, we need it. It will keep the bag in place. All these people we talk every day, they will say, oh, this, the, the, the bag shows through my white shirt when I'm going at work. Or ladies, oh, I have so many nice dresses. I can't wear them anymore. It shows. So yes, we need them so we feel better and also to protect ourselves. And it's all about quality of life. So yes, living without a hernia, it is quality of life and feel, feeling good about ourselves and our body image, it is quality of life, good quality of life. So a support garment will enhance, it's, it will discreet, it's discreet, it will cover the hernia it will cover the stoma bag, uh, keeps the stoma bag in place, and leaking is a problem that uh, we don't want when we have a stoma bag. It's another layer of protection. gives us a better control over our stoma management and helps supporting our abdomen during exercise. Usually a stoma nurse or a healthcare professional will suggest to wear a support garment during exercise or manual work or anything really, really active. Right now, I would like to share a video with you. I would like you to meet Sandra. She's a young woman and she has an ileostomy. She's very active and she will talk to us about her journey with her stoma and her passion about fitness and exercise. Hi, my name is Sandra, I'm 39 and I have an ileostomy for the last 11 years due to ulcerative colitis. Since getting the bag, I have had four more abdominal surgeries. Um, fitness has always been a part of my life. Previous to my first surgery to get the bag. I had been an Irish dancer for 24 years and although my dance career had come to an end, I knew that I definitely wanted to get back into some sort of fitness to keep myself fit and healthy. Um, but I was very unsure how I was going to do it because I knew of the risks of hernias, but I hadn't been given the information on how to protect myself. So I did a little bit of research and I came across Portex um, and I seen their breathable shorts and I thought this was going to be something that was really good for me because of all the surgeries. I do have a couple of scars and with them being high waisted, I knew that they were going to cover all my scars and just give me that protection for when I was going to start really training. Um, I started off very light with just some cardio, some body weight training, um, a bit of movement, a couple of stretches. But in the last three years, I've really delved into the fitness side of things and I'm currently training for a fitness competition. So I do train four to five days a week in the gym and I do mostly weight training. Um, I definitely believe if I didn't have the right support, I wouldn't be where I am now. Um, the one thing I love about the breathable shorts is that they're so comfortable, really supportive. Um, but it means I can do any exercise in the gym without any restriction to movement. Um, so just kind of touching on that, I'm just gonna show you a short video with a couple of different exercises that I do in the gym throughout the week. 
So I always like to start off with a warm up on the treadmill and then I move on to some stretches and some body movement just to prepare myself for whatever exercises I may be doing. Um, and then you can see here, I'm just doing some squats with the trap bar and then I'm doing some lunges with a weighted vest. In all of these videos, I am wearing the breathable shorts and I do wear them for every training session. Then you'll see me doing some upper body incline with dumbbells and then some back work with dumbbells again, leaning on a bench. And then at the end of a lot of my sessions, I like to do a couple of sit ups with a five kilo medicine ball. All right, there we are. So we're back again. That was a really nice video from Sandra. And I would like to say a few words about Supportex, who we are, what we do. Supportex is the market leader for the UK market. And since 2009, what we do, we do support garments to prevent or support hernias if there is a hernia. We have... Uh, we work with our suppliers across the UK, Europe, and Australia, and now the US. And um, the products that currently are available in the US are the breathable briefs and shorts. And uh, let me show you. Yeah, I have it here. This is our breathable shorts. They are strong support garments. They are ideal for exercise. They're high-waisted, and they will offer you a proper, even support. And because they are especially designed to be worn over stomach bags, the support garment won't restrict your stomach bag, clearly won't stop your stomach from working, and it won't stop your stomach bag from filling up because it's stretchy and although it will provide strong support, it won't feel uncomfortable or restrictive. And they can be as shorts or as briefs. It's a unisex design, so anybody can use them for anything like manual work, exercise, or if there is a hernia to support the area and prevent the hernia from growing any bigger. And our belt is the Stoma Secure. It's a light support belt, really light, very breathable and stretchy. And it will cover the stoma bag. It will lift that dragging feeling we get especially when the stomach bag is filling up it will secure the stomach bag in place and it's the garment of choice especially the first uh, two three months post-op when everything is already sore and there is a swelling there so it's a light support garment for everyday use to cover the stomach bag feel safe and to, to cover everything so it's discreet. It won't show under your clothes and has this beige color. There we go. Now let's do some, let's check some FQAs. How long should I wear a hernia support stomach device? All right. The duration is different for everyone. Let's say if we don't have a hernia, but would like to protect ourselves and prevent the hernia, we have to wear our support garment only when we're doing anything active. Working, exercising, gardening, shopping, and uh, lifting shopping bags, or driving maybe for more than 30 minutes, anything really active. We don't need it when we're just relaxing or when we're in bed. Can the support device be worn over a stoma bag? Yes. At least our uh, support X garments are especially designed 
to be one of the stomach bags. They're 100% de- breathable, so it will not make a sweaty that affects the stomach bag, especially the flanks, the sticky part next to your skin. And it won't restrict the stomach bag, so it won't squeeze the stomach bag. They will stretch and expand if your bag is filling up. Can you sleep with a hernia support? Well, it's not advisable. You don't need it. We don't need it when we're in bed. When we're lying flat, everything sinks back. So there is no risk of a hernia. Now, especially for the stoma secure, because it's light support belt, if somebody feels better with the belt on, it's fine because it's really light support, but it's not advisable because yeah, you need some free time without the support guard. How tight should the hernia support garment be? Well, not too tight. Must feel snug. You must feel it there and feel the support. But you need to be able to take a deep breath. You need to feel comfortable and not like you're squeezed. Can't be like a medieval corset. This is why these garments are stretching four directions very breathable. Can a support garment fix a hernia? Unfortunately, no. The only, let's say, cure about a hernia is a hernia repair operation. Is this possible? Yeah, for most people, yes, but you need to talk to your consultant because it's another big operation so they have to advise about that. And definitely after a hernia repair operation, you need to wear a support garment to, to, to maintain the good results. Unfortunately, hernias tend to come back. So a hernia support garment, yes, it will protect you from developing a hernia or it will support your hernia if there is one. It will make it less visible. Uh, It will reduce the dragging feeling or the pain sometimes, but it won't address, it can't address the underlying issues. So don't fix a hernia. We can't push it back. Now, I think I'm ready for your questions. Now, I've taken note of a, a couple of questions that we received um, in the chat um, while the uh, while the presentation was going. Um, a couple have basically, I think, been answered already. Um, although I do see, actually, there's one um, from Lenora here that I think I can answer, actually. Um, Lenora asks, um, I have tried the belt and I loved it. Uh, I was one to test it. I'm looking to purchase another one. How do you purchase them? Well, uh, conveniently, you can purchase them from us at Um, (laughs) medicalmonks.com. If you go to Medical Monks, search Support X, that's with one P, um, you will very easily find them on our website. Uh, We have them at a a really great price. We're actually the, um, I believe, uh, Maria, we're the the exclusive sellers of Support X in the U.S. right now. Um, Is that correct? Do you know? Yes. (laughs) <laughs> yes, I believe yes. we are. So not only can you get them there, that's the only place you can get them. Um, now I have, um, I see a little while ago, Ron asked the question uh, of the device, uh, any issues with rolling? Well, uh, not the briefs and shorts, I'm telling you, I've tried both belt and briefs and shorts. Briefs and shorts are really strong support so if it is the right size no it will roll because there is no different elastic anywhere so it offers an even support and follows our shape the belt will stay in place belt is lighter support so again if it is the right size it will stay in place there is no different elastic or anything at the top 
But again, because I tried belts and bruises and shorts, a belt is a belt. The belt will move as we move. It won't go out of place or anything, but it is a belt. Not rolling. I don't know about rolling. The elastic garments, the support garments will roll if it's not the right size and it's too small. So because it's elastic, if you stretch it too much, then tends to roll. But if it's the right size, no. All right, I'm seeing, um... Well, this is another one for me, maybe. Lawrence asks, do you have support people at Medical Monks? Yes, we do. Um, you can uh, contact us via live chat, um, which if you, if you go on our website, medicalmonks.com, there, there'll be a little uh, person sort of pops up in the, the bottom left-hand corner asking if you need any help. Uh, if you click that, that is an actual person you're you're speaking to during business hours. You can, you can also call us at, uh, at 844 uh, why am I forgetting our phone number right now? 844-859-9400 uh, during business hours. We can also, uh, one of our highly trained monks, as we call them, can can help you with these products or anything else. Um, I can see here from Yvonne, my hernia came with my surgery. Will the support help now? Well, unfortunately happens. Even uh, right after the operation, everything, it's so, so, it's the weakness is there and unfortunately happens. Even when we're trying to get out of the bed, the pressure is really high. But yes, the support will help. It won't push your hernia back. It will make it less visible, 100%. Better if you have a hernia, go for a strong support like brief and shorts and if you're wearing your support garment, try light exercise, talk to your stomachs to find what's more suitable for you as an exercise. It will stop your hernia from growing any bigger. I see um, Sandy here asks, um, for a large hernia, would you recommend a belt or shorts? Shorts. If there is a large hernia, you need a stronger support, so go for this brief or short they're the same just different style that's the brief no legs the shorts is like that uh both are strong support high waisted so it will come high enough and on the website you'll find uh, all the details on how to measure yourself and find the right size for you Um, I am seeing uh, Diane asking, I'm not sure if this is something we'll be able to ask over, over this, but um, I'm actually, I'm not sure. Um, Diane says, my sister is very short-waisted, about four feet tall, 140 pounds. She's not tall enough for the belt, but I, the belt or, short, belt or shorts, what size should she be? I guess I think that's maybe a, a larger way to sort of talk about how, how would we... How would a customer determine what size they should be like if they want to order from us or or anywhere else well for them to find the right size i would say all right go better for brief or shorts um and to find the right size go to the website and follow the instructions of how to measure yourself to give you an idea, usually we have to measure all around your body where the, exactly the stoma level or the widest part of our body and then check the measurements and you'll find the right size for you. It's really um, accurate. You'll find it. Uh, I see. I see Daryl's asking a question. I think I, I know what Maria's answer is going to be. Daryl asks, are these garments better than the other belts? <laughs> well, um, I don't know what the other belts are. I know many products in, that they are in the market. There are some that, yes, they're good. There are some that they are like um, really hard to wear, difficult to wear. 
belts with um, plastic rings and holds that. It's not advisable to wear something like this around the stoma because maybe you're losing the support weight. It's better to wear a support garment that is breathable, gives you a good support, and it will allow your stoma and your stoma bag to function properly. So I know that support X garments meet uh, this criteria. So I know they're good, but if any other garment <laughs> does this job, it's all right. Um, Terry asked, if you have a belt, would it be an added effort to empty the bag? Would you have to roll up the belt? Is that correct? Yes, just roll, roll it up and empty your stomach bag. It's really, really easy. No reason to pull it up and down. It's just a belt. Um, I'm seeing Bruce um, a little skeptical here, um, but I think this is sort of a common thing with these products. Um, Bruce says, I'm finding it hard to believe that you can cover the stoma bag and still drain while being squeezed by the belt. Um, he says, my, my wife uses a belt with a hole, which are definitely the more common type of hernia belts where the, the yes. pouch goes on the outside. That's sort of what's unique about this product. Um, but do you have any, any more to say about that, Maria? Well, uh, stoma nurses, more and more, they don't want us to cut a hole on a support garment. The reason is with the strong support garment, we're pushing everything back. This is how we support the abdomen. And we're leaving the area where we need the support around the stoma exposed. So if this is a really hard material and we have, let's say, a small prolapse when we have an elongated, elongated stoma, the stoma comes a bit out, then it's a big no-no. Uh, we're not helping like this. And uh, yes, in the past, they used some weird belts from non-stretchy material. Then they had no choice but to have a hole to allow the bag to fill up and the stoma to work. Now we have very stretchy and soft material so we can wear the support garment over the stoma bag and honestly um, just only UK uh, UK alone we see thousands of patients every year any age with the stoma and yes it's important to choose the right garment and yeah try one and see that, yes, the stoma bag and the stoma will be absolutely fine. Okay, I am seeing, um, it's an interesting question. Uh, the, another question from Ron, uh, would you consider the shorts an undergarment or one wear underwear underneath them? Well, um, now, it's personal preference. Uh, depends on how many you can have, so you can wash and wear all the time. Let's say if it, the weather is not too hot, yes, some people choose because they don't want to wear it during daytime all the time, just to go exercise, come back and take it off, then yes, you can wear two pairs, you can wear it on top. It's personal preference. It's your choice. All right, and I, I think we have uh, time for one or two more questions. Um, All right. Um, I am seeing a question from uh, Judith here. Uh, a body scan showed that I have a hernia, but I do not see a bulge or have pain. Do you recommend the briefs? Well, uh, if the scan shows that uh, there is a hernia, then maybe they can see the opening already happening in there, but is not visible yet. That's the start of a hernia. Uh, now, it depends on how active you are. Let's say if you have a manual work or if you're exercising, if you're very active, I would say go for a strong support garment or if you want something just for discretion and light support, 
you can go for the belt. So it's again, depends on your lifestyle and what you do every day. If you're going to the gym, if you're very active, sports and stuff, I would say go for the strong support for briefs and shorts. If it's just for everyday use, um, housework and light, uh, light things, then you can go for the belt. Or both. Okay. Because, <laughs> yeah, we need something different to exercise and something different when we're just going out and we need some discretion and keep the bag in place. Um, have a question. Um, well, this is this is good to just answer generally here. A uh, question from Paul. He says, I showed up late, very interested in the topic. Will it be available for viewing on demand? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, everyone who has signed up for this, um, this webinar, whether you're live in the room or not, you will receive a recording of this webinar later today for in the next uh, few hours you should receive one via email um and it will be up on our youtube page the medical monks youtube page um for foreseeable future um so one more question for maria um i can see one from lenora please all righty let's let's go um she says i've been using wraps and also horizontal and vertical belt from stealth belt is there a belt that is between vertical and horizontal? No. I'm not, I'm sure. Do you mean? Um, uh, I, I'm guessing she means uh, wearing the pouch vertical versus horizontal. yeah or horizontal. Well, I'll tell you what makes no difference is just when we're wearing the stomach bag a bit like that uh, we minimizing a little bit the capacity of the bag because not everything drops down but it's a nice way to wear your bag so it won't go really low depends on where the stoma is but makes no difference for the support garment changes nothing it's just again personal preference on how to wear the stoma bag how it's more comfortable and convenient for everyone all righty and um well i think that's all we have time for i'm very sorry if we didn't uh, get to your question um but we as i said you can contact us medical monks um we, we can answer uh, many questions you might have um and oh, i do see Medi medicare covered bruce is asking no uh th this product's not covered by medicare it's only out of pocket um and so you can uh you know medical monk sells it out of pocket um and that's where you can purchase it from um all right and uh so thank you all very much thank you maria uh thank i really you appreciate so you much for time. having me thank you yes of course and uh everyone have a great day and uh thank you for coming